Welcome everybody to the daily presidential address bonus content for all the people who watched Wager Talk today live. I'm going to take apart the New York Giants versus the Cleveland Browns. I'll give you both the side and total just to let everybody know I am filming the NFL presidential address for week three later on today. It should be up by 5, 6 p.m. Eastern today. Over 10,000 of you watched that show last week. Such love. I'm so appreciative of it. And this week, I'm adding a teaser of the week into that segment. Okay, let's get into this game. New York Giants are playing Cleveland. Um, the line now is the New York Giants plus six and a half, a total of 38 and a half. And money is coming in on the Giants right now. And I get it. This line will keep dropping all week long. And I totally agree with that. I like the Giants here. If you've been following me, guys, you know I have a hate on for the Cleveland Browns. Firstly, I can't stand the franchise for picking up Deshaun Watson. And secondly, I think this, fran this team is completely overrated. We bet on Jacksonville in week two against Cleveland, and I was wrong. Cleveland ended up covering that line, but I don't know if that was a reflection of how good Cleveland is or more likely how disappointing Jacksonville is right now. This Cleveland team has not earned the right to have a minus six and a half with them. This uh, Giants team, man, they should have won against Washington last week. They lost that game literally because they did not have a kicker. Now, that's totally on Brian Dable, who actually had an extra spot on the roster, knew Gano was, uh, hamstring, had hamstring issues and still didn't add a kicker. But regardless of that, this Giants team was able to move the ball well. And really, the game should have been tied if they had a kicker, and they could have won by three at the end of the game with a kicker. Instead, they went for it, for it on fourth and four and uh, dropped ball really should have won that football game. With that said, take it with a grain of salt. The Washington defense is the worst in the league, and Cleveland does have a good D. One thing I really like about this Giants team, however, is their defense. They're running an aggressive program on D. They're blitzing. They're in the backfield. I think they're going to give Deshaun Watson fits. I mean, there is a very good chance Deshaun Watson might need a massage after this game. If Anybody knows anyone who wants to uh, help him out, let us know. Let's bottom line this. Neither team can score consistently. Both teams will be in the bottom half in the league in points gained and in the top half of the league in points allowed. The Giants so far have averaged only 12 points per game, and none of those games were against this Cleveland D. At Cleveland, they've averaged 17 and a half points per game, and I think that's higher than what they will average at the end of the year. This game has horrible written all over it, 17-12 with five field goals. That seems about right to me, and that is 10 points below the total. There is no reason to overthink this play or, frankly, underthink it. I don't think there's going to be a lot of points scored, which is why I like the under here. I also don't think there's going to be a lot of points scored, which is also why I like the dog here. For the record, from a side perspective, I think this number is just too high, especially when playing Cleveland, who really struggles to score. Plus, real quick, both Ward and Garrett are questionable. Same with Njoku. All questionable. Now, they might play, but they're clearly injured. Plus, half of Cleveland's O-line uh, is injured, and their O-line stinks to begin with. Take the New York Giants and the under. Let's cash both. I'm Lawrence Presman. Thanks for watching the Daily Presidential Address.